in the previous lesson, you have learned about the effects of air pollution to living things and the environment. Air pollution can be very harmful to living things and the environment. Various steps to prevent and control air pollution need to be taken in order to reduce the harmful effect. The steps include law enforcement, education and through science and technology. Let's see one by one. The first step is by law enforcement. Introduce Environment Quality Act and laws in Malaysia to prevent and control air pollution. Find smokers who smoke at restricted areas. Find individuals who conduct open burning. Find drivers whose vehicles emit excessive smoke. Prohibit factories from being built at housing areas. Factories should be built away from housing areas. The second way to control and prevent air pollution is through education. Public awareness can help prevent and control air pollution. What are some of the necessary steps that should be taken to increase public awareness in preventing and controlling air pollution? Let's see one by one. Public awareness can be increased by educating the public about the dangers of air pollution. This can be done by using media sources like television, newspapers, magazine, pamphlet, and can be done through Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp messages. Such awareness education can be held at workplace, at home, or in school. The public should be warned on the danger of smoking. This awareness can reduce the number of smokers. Similarly, the public should be warned about the danger of open burning, such as the burning of rubbish. You too can play a great part in educating others about the danger of air pollution. There are too many cars emitting smoke. Smoke is an air pollutant. How can you improve the quality of air on the road? Quality of air can be improved by reducing the number of cars on the road. Whilst still using vehicles, air pollution can be controlled by encouraging people to use public transport such as commuter, LRT and bus and also can practice carpooling. What is carpooling? Let's say you and your neighbour going to the same school so your mother can fetch you and your neighbour to school and your neighbour's parent can fetch you and your neighbour back from school. So this will reduce the number of cars on the road. Another way to reduce the number of cars on the road is by encouraging the public to walk or cycle. Through scientific and technological innovation, air pollution can be reduced by using a wide range of air pollution control devices in order to prevent their adverse effects to the environment and human health. Many technological applications serve this purpose. One example is the implementation of hybrid technology in vehicles. Hybrid electric vehicles are powered by an internal combustion engine and an electric motor which uses energy stored in batteries. These features result in better fuel economy without sacrificing performance. In another word, hybrid technology reduces the use of fossil fuels and reduces air pollution. To overcome the thinning of ozone layer, choose refrigerators which use hydrochlorofluorocarbons HCFC instead of chlorofluorocarbons CFC. Modern industrial chimneys help to reduce air pollution as they are long and extend high in the air. 
all the smoke and harmful gases produced by industrials are released far away from ground. Also, modern chimneys are fitted with filters which trap the dust and particulate matter present in the polluted air. One way to reduce the air pollution caused by motor vehicles is to install catalytic converters on vehicles. A catalytic converter is a simple device that reduces the pollutants emitted from vehicles. It converts the harmful pollutants produced from the car engine into less harmful gases. To reduce the effect of air pollution caused by pesticide, we can replace the use of pesticide with biological control to control pests. Biological control is the management of a pest through the use of their natural enemies or biological control agent. A biological control agent is an organism such as a virus or an insect. Biological control controls the pest without chemical pesticides. For example, the gardeners introduce ladybugs into their gardens to control aphids colonies. Next, let's see what you can do to prevent and reduce air pollution. Avoid using the air conditioner especially during the cold weather. Turn off lights and electrical appliances when they are not in use. Carpool, use public transportation, cycle or walk to school. Plant a lot of trees. Don't burn rubbish. Practice the three R of reducing, reusing and recycling of your household rubbish instead. Don't use sprays. Don't use chemical-based products. Use natural products instead. Remind your friends and family members not to smoke. Air pollution brings harm and discomfort to living things and destroys the environment. Let's work together to prevent and control air pollution. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.